Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, today we're going to be looking at a very peculiar form of special cell that has a negative constraint in it. Um, yeah, looking forward to giving this a go, but uh, it's been recommended to us. Good puzzle, apparently, so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Um, and I like negative constraints to an extent, although they do mess with your head sometimes. We'll see how much that happens today. No idea. Um, now, Tomorrow, Simon is going to be releasing on the channel in the morning um, an extra bonus video of him attempting, well, a sort of star battle puzzle um, that was on a recent number file video. So those of you who watch number file, and I know it is many, may well have seen it already, may have attempted it already. But Simon, um, I think, has attempted it and that solve will be going up tomorrow. Um, now, what else is going on? We've also, of course, got all kinds of stuff on Patreon. There was a, a uh, Matt Gaffney meta crossword last week. There'll be a Times Club, monthly club special crossword this week. But there's, of course, the Sudoku hunt and Simon solving Kurt Hugo Schneider's X, a brilliant six by six puzzle. Loads of content, as always. We do try and keep you happy. And you can try our apps, which have Domino Sudoku like Kropke and Arrow Sudoku like this puzzle. So check them all out. They're on the links under the video along with Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise and it's all good stuff. So what we are going to do is read the rules of this puzzle and see what we're contending with. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're going to be putting one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box. That is the implication of normal Sudoku rules. The digits along each arrow must sum to the digit in the circled cell, so those two add up to that one, etc. That's relatively straightforward. A black Kropke dot between cells indicates cell values with a two to one ratio, and a white Kropke dot between cells indicates cells with consecutive values, those two for instance. So far so normal. Then it says, not all dots are shown, however, there are nine cells to which a negative crop key constraint applies, which means the cell must have a black or white dot on its edge for its value to have a two to one or consecutive relationship between it and the value of the cell it shares that edge with. So I guess if this was a negative crop key cell, a special cell, let's just call them special cells, then none of these four could be consecutive with the digit in the red cell or have a one uh, a doubling or halving relationship with it because this has to obey the negative constraint rule. I mean, obviously, if this is a negative constraint cell, then, it's a, then this can be consecutive to it because there is a white dot, but these two couldn't. I mean, that's weird. That really could play merry hell, heck with your, uh, with your reasoning in this. Ah, now there is further clues. One of these negative crop key cells is contained in each row, column, and three by three box in the grid, as well as on each arrow. I didn't see that when I read the rules before. So there's one crop key dot on each arrow, not in the circled cell. On each arrow. Okay, there are nine arrows. Did you notice that? I hadn't. Um, yeah, fair enough. Additionally, they each contain a different digit from the set of the digits one to nine. I was expecting that, although not necessarily, but I thought it was likely. Right, those are the rules. Give it a try on the link under the video, as long as you've wrapped your head around what they mean. I am going to start now and say, let's get cracking. And, I don't know, I've said let's get cracking, I don't know how to get cracking. Okay, what I would normally do, I mean, arrows, these arrows are genuine digits. So anything which has got three cells or more, which need to be, three of them need to be different, is at least six. This one is at least seven, because it's not only got those three, which must be at a minimum one, two, three. It's also got that, which actually itself is therefore one, two, or three. Now this one is on a black dot, and the black dots are genuine. There's no, there's no lying in this puzzle, there's just negative constraints. So that is six or eight. This cell is three or four. I feel like I've done something now, weirdly, which is quite... Um, not quite true. Ah, now, hang on. 
These add up to eight or less because this can't be more than nine, obviously, and this must be at least one, obviously. But that means that these three cells don't add up to more than eight. So they have to have a one in. And I'm just wondering, they can't be one, three, four. No, they couldn't have been one, three, four. Oh, they could have been one, three, four. That is eight. Oh, do they, I think they have to have a two in now. If this is a seven, these add up to six and they definitely have a two in. If this is an eight, these add up to seven and have to have a two in. They'd have to be one, two, four. If these add up to nine, these can add up to oh, six, seven, or eight. Actually, if it, that was eight, they could add up to six, but that still has a two. If, they, if this is a nine, these add up to six, seven, or eight, but the version of the eight that they add up to cannot be one, three, four because of that cell. So there is a two in those. That is a very long-winded way of explaining it, something that sort of occurred to my brain. Um, it may not even help, but it's nonetheless true. I don't think I can use this. What about this black dot? Mm, it could be one, two, but it could also be two, four. I don't think it can be anything more than that. If it was three, six, that would break this arrow. So there is a two on that black dot. Um, I mean, I feel there's probably a one in this group, but actually, no, it could be two, three, four, with that being two, four, and that three. I think that works fine. So no, okay, no, no certainty there. This one, could be two, three with a one there, yeah. Okay, I'm kind of coming to an end with what I think I can do without thinking about the blooming arrow rule. Right, now what I did see at the beginning, completely forgot, is if every arrow has to have a negative crop key digit, one of the special cells, this is the only cell on its arrow, so that is one of them. And we can colour in these cells in a colour that doesn't have such an arrow. So I'm, I'm sorry, such a special cell. Red is my colour for the special cells, as I kind of indicated earlier. Oh, and they can never... Oh, no, they were always on the arrows. OK, so I can actually... Yeah, I can colour a lot of cells in this puzzle green. Actually, this might actually... How many times can you fit actually into a sentence, Mark? This might help because there's a lot of green real estate in the puzzle. I reckon all of that, unless I've misunderstood, oh no, I have misunderstood the rules, I've colored arrows there. Unless I have misunderstood the rules now, I've left all the arrow cells uncovered and all the special cells are in the arrow cells. So there's one in one of those two and therefore not elsewhere in column five. There's one in one of those two, and therefore not here. And now there's only one space in column seven. It's at the bottom. That is a special cell. Uh, one of those two rules out that one. That's a special cell. We found three now. The rest, I think it's hard for me to be sure about. No, and that's not quite true, actually. Yes, I mean, okay, I saw this through an X-wing here, but rather than doing an X-wing on special cells, let's do it the simple way. Those can't have one, so these must have a special cell, and that can't be a special cell, and now in row five, that one must be. And these special cells are the ones with the negative crop key constraints. I mean, I don't think that's a lot of use yet. So we're down to that pattern. We've found four special cells out of the nine. Oh, they're all on arrows. Oh, come on. Um, nine can't go on a two-cell arrow. That's just not, not an arrow without a pill, if you, if you know those things. But anyway, nine has to be there. It's got to be on the one-cell arrow, and that's a nine as well. Because we've got this concept of special cells, I keep 
thinking that the digit in a special cell is going to be halved or doubled or rendered as a zero. Ah, that's not a nine now. Ah, so now there is a one on this group of cells because that is six, seven, or eight. Um, do we then move on to eight on an arrow cell? I mean, that couldn't be eight, but that one could be. That one definitely could be. These couldn't because their arrows are not are too long to accommodate it. Oh, what? A white? Oh, that's a one. This is very obvious. You could have done this at the very beginning without any special cell consideration at all. If those digits are consecutive, that's obviously lower than that. And this difference between them is one. Effectively, the white dot says, put a one in here. That's weird. I've not seen that before in a puzzle. Um, so, can that one be the special cell? I suppose, I don't see why it can't be. Ah, it makes this digit at least three, because there's a sequence of either ascending or descending digits here. And this digit is in the middle of it. So I'm going to put three, four, five, or six. Six being the largest value you can put on a three cell arrow with a single circled sum. That was very alliterative. Thank you, brain. Um, I'm going to have to think about eights or something again, or the values that go in the special cells. I don't know. I don't know how to get at this. Um, oh, if that's a six. Ah, this now is at least three because of the one, two in that group. So that is three, four, or five. Now, this pair either, well, it's got to add up to an odd number. So actually, that can't be a four because this is even and that's odd. These have to add up to an odd number because of the classic knowledge bomb that two consecutive digits contain an odd and an even digit and they add up together to an odd one. So this is either 1, 2, or 2, 3. There is definitely a 2 in those cells. This is 3 or 5. This is 3 or 4. If this is a 6, that's a 3 and that's a 1, 2 pair. If this is an 8, oh, it's still a 1, 2 pair. You can't have 2, 3, and 3. So this could be 3 or 5, but this is always a 1, 2 pair. Um, and there's a 1 there and a 1 there, and there's a 1 in one of these two cells. And I'm not really doing... Ah, nine. Okay, <laughs> placed two nines in the grid. Now, that could actually be helpful. There's a surprise. Nine can't be in any of those cells, so there's a nine in one of those two. Same in this box, where nine can't be in any of those cells, and again, can't be on an arrow, and it can't be on a black dot. So we get to place nine in box two. Then we get to place it in row two, because it can't be on a black dot either side of it. And that being a 9 makes that an 8 and doesn't tell us which of these is the special cell. Although that's a 1 or a 2. If that was a 1, this couldn't be special. I rather fancy it's going to be that because it's probably quite hard to get 8s onto special cells. Hmm. In fact, I'm sort of... No, I don't know not thinking about where the eight goes again. I've done that. It wasn't very profitable. Uh, nines. Oh, look, nine down here is in one of those two. It could be in the circle. Quite likely to be in the circle, given the size of its arrow. Um, what next? This can't be one, two. Not very interesting. This one. If that's one, two, this is three, four, or five. If it's two, four, that would have to be a one. And those are the only possibilities. Doesn't really clash with this. Oh, but the special cell rule. Now, 
That's going to mean that 2 here couldn't be next to 3. Can I use that? Not yet. This 9, I've only just remembered, it can't be next to 8 in any of those cells. Doesn't look like it helps a lot, but might be worth bearing in mind. Um, it's going to be something to do with that rule somehow, combined with some other possibility. Oh, crumbs. Think about it, Mark. Come on, what's going on? I don't know, and I don't know what to do next. That's becoming painfully obvious. Let's try... Oh, there's a two also. Right. Oh, my goodness. I saw there was a one in those groups of cells. And despite the fact I'd clearly marked there's a two in them as well, I didn't notice that made this a one-two pair. Um, and that means this isn't a one-two-three arrow, so that's not a six. Or a one, two, and a, yeah, no, it's not a one, two, four arrow either because you can't get a two on it. Oh, you can't get both of one and two on it. In fact, this cell is at least three again. So these now add up to at least seven together, and this is eight or nine, which would be very helpful if this was a special cell. I would know what it was, as it is, I don't. Um. Now, these can now only add up to 7 or 8, so they do have a 3 in. Uh, can that 3 be here? That would be a 4, and that would be a 2. This would have to be a 5. And one of these is special. Ah, it's not this one, because it's sitting next. It's creating a white dot pair. Right, brilliant. So that is not special. This is special. And it, all its white and black dots are marked. And, and that means this is not special. It means the 8 up here is special. That cell isn't. This cell is. We've got the 8 now. Um, so, what does, the, does that tell me anything about this? I don't think so. Not yet. If this is a 3, that must be a 1, but actually if it's a 4, that must be a 1 as well. And can it really be a 5? Yes, it could, with 1 and 3 there, that's annoying. Um, so we've got the 1, 2 pair, a 1, 2 pair, a 1, 2 pair somewhere here. A 1, 2 pair somewhere here. Do I need to move on to seven? Seven could be there in the red. Ah, no, it couldn't. Uh, yes, it could. If that was a one and that was an eight. Can seven be here? Can I do more with nines, maybe? Oh, gosh. How did I not notice I can fill in the nine in column two? Sorry, well done for getting that ahead of me. That means there's a 9 in one of these two. And in one of these three, there is a 9. I'm going to mark it. Now, this can't be a... S no, it can't be a 7 for a rather nice reason. Oh, no, the, okay. I was going to say the rather nice reason is that would be a 1, that would be an 8, and this special cell would need a white dot. It, it would be broken. But actually the simple reason is if you had a 7 there, it would need a white dot with that cell, whatever's in it. So this is not the 7. I think that is the 7. This can't be the 7 because it's on a black dot. Neither of these can be a 7 because you can't put a 7 on one of these arrows, and that is 7 in the red. That's two. This is six or eight. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, six or eight is right. That's not two. That's one, because the circle has to be eight. Um, and that's six now. Okay. Gosh, I'm really not with it these days, am I? He bemoans the aging process as he solves Sudoku. These can't have a one in. So there's a one X-wing in these cells. There's a red dot X-wing in these cells. That's really interesting, actually. Because the one X-wing 
is not the red dot X-wing. If one might be there and there, but then it can't also be the red dots, the red, the red cells, or you'd have two red cells that were ones, which is not allowed. Same is true that way around. So, whatever the ones go, oh, and there is a one in one of these cells, so this is a one-two pair. That's just white dot logic. So that is going to be the red two in that pair. Isn't that bizarre? So this must be a one. What a weird, weird thing. So that's a two. Uh, that doesn't, the, 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 <laughs> the redness of this cell only stops these being twos, which that did anyway, so it's pointless. Now, there is also a one in these two cells and a red something that is not a two or a seven, eight or a nine. In fact, we've used, somewhere here we've used the red two. So these other cells are all from three, four, five or six. Now, this one is not from this not a five because of the black dot, which is putting two, three, or six there. I wonder if I can rule two out because two's in a pair here. I don't know. Actually, no, two is definitely not in a pair here because the red cell over there that is not a one is a two. So the red cell over here cannot be a two as well. Uh, two is in one of those cells for definite. Ah. But isn't it going to be next? Yeah, it's going to be next to a one, but it's not in a red cell, so that doesn't matter. I think what that's telling me is which... And it's not telling me anything about the red two. That's really interesting. But very weird. This is how it's quite hard to get your head around this thing. Um, mm, uh, right, sorry. This can't be more than eight. So this is no more than five. No, oh, that's become not a one. That's a one. This was when we placed that digit there. Hmm, what have we got here? Something added to that to give no more than eight again. So again, this can't be more than five, same deal. This is at least five, that's a slightly different thing. I can't believe we haven't resolved that yet, that's irritating. Uh, we've got a pair of twos there, that's an X-wing, and this, oh, we've got a one-two pair there, so we've placed two up here. That can't be one, it is four, this is a three, four, five triple. Now we're motoring a little bit. Nine, one, two, these are from six, seven, eight, whatever is not in there. Um, now, come on, three, five, six, eight. This mustn't be next to a seven because of the red dotness of it. So there's a seven down there and up there. That's probably very unuseful deduction. Ah, eight now, which is in one of these three cells, can't be next to the red nine by the rule. So eight's in one of those two. One is in one of these two, not there because of the X-wing on ones in the white cells. Now, I still haven't done a lot of thinking about the contents of the red. So six is in one of those two cells. That means, for instance, that this digit can't... Ah, uh, that might be wrong. Could it be here? No, actually six can't be on these because it's too big for the arrows. That's only got an eight circle and this is adding to that to get the nine circle. So you can't put six on these arrows. So one of these definitely is a six and that's not a six. Also, none of those cells are a six by the same medicine, which is not very helpful. Um, it's nice. I like this. There's some very interesting deductions. You have to get your head around things that are a bit different from usual. And one of those things must be what I'm doing with these red cells. So there's a red two in one of those. And there's a red... Three, four, five, or six, not six, three, four, or five in one of these. 
Now that can't be a five. So we're down to one, three, or four there. Oh, come on, I must have I must be able to use something else I've done somewhere. This can't have a seven there because of the sequence of white dots. In fact, by the just Sudoku, this is two, three, or five now. So if it's two, that's a four. If it's three, that's a five. And if it's five, that's a three. So that is also from three, four, five. And that gives us a triple. Is that right? That seems really weird. If that's two, we're going two, three, four. If it's three, we're going three, four, five. Yeah, if it's five, we're going five, four, three. So there must be a four in that pair and not here. Three, four, five, triple and a one, two. This can't be nine or eight and is six or seven. Oh, I'm just not doing something with the red concept. Oh, look, I've got a two there. That's not a two. This is definitely a three, six dot, and that is three or six now. Doesn't really help with this cell. This could still be anywhere between four and eight. Um, three, six pair stops that being a six. Is it doing it? Stops that being a three. I've got to use these red cells more, haven't I? Why can't I figure anything out? That is not a, 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 a consecutive pair because three, two would need a white dot. So that's not a five. If that was a seven, this would have to be five, two. And if it was an eight, I think it, ah, if it was an eight, it, okay, if this is a seven, oh, I've got a seven, eight pair as well. Making that four or five. Seven, eight, nine, three, six. That two, four or five, and that's a quad, which is quite unexpected. This can't be a seven because of the red cell rule, so it's a six, given this two, three, four, five quad. In fact, that is a sequence from two, three, four, five, so this can't be a four. Sorry, I was going to think about that, but I'll do it in a minute. Two, three, four, five. That is a six um, because of the red rule. These are seven, eight, nine. That is a triple of which the bottom cell can't be a nine. Now we've got three, four, five. This is also six, seven, eight, or nine. Hmm. Now, okay, let's go back. This was going to be one, four, or five, but I was going back to here, where if this is a seven, this can't be a three, four pair, and must be five and then two. I'm, actually, let's cross out everything we've got in it and write those in. Five and then two. Can't be a one, six pair because of the ones in the grid. If it was an eight, it can't be one, seven because of the ones in the grid, and it can't be six, two because it would break this cell. So it must be five, three, if it's an eight here. So there is a five in those two cells and that doesn't help, does it? But well, it stops that being a five. Mm, I thought this was gonna do it all. It absolutely doesn't. Well, does the red cell thing. Yeah, look, that's three or five. And it would need some color of dot to a six there either way around. Oh, that's lovely. So that's not a six. That's an eight. That's a five. That's a four. This is not a four. This is not an eight. Let's keep going. That's a one now because it can't be a four. Good thing we did the pencil marking. That can't be a one. Now, how is this pair working? Bearing in mind there has there is no dot between these cells. Um, if that's a three, this is four or five. If that's a six, this is two. It can't be three, four, so this can't be a four. Now I've got a two, five pair and that's a four. And that hasn't fixed it all. Um, there's a four in one of those cells, not going to mark it. Three and four are in that group. 
doesn't fix them. Three, four, five. Ooh, it's very interesting. The deductions are so unusual in this puzzle. Oh look, eight has only got one place in this box by, by effectively Sudoku and pencil marking. It's got to be in the circle. Uh, I might have known that by what these have become, the fact that four got eliminated, and I didn't think of it from that, I can tell you. That's not an eight now. Eight is in one of those two cells. Very, oh, two five pair stops that being a two. Now, for this to be a three, this would be a one, two, three set. And surely, whichever cell was red, no, it could go, yeah, okay, because, right, it doesn't work. So if this was a three, Okay, the whole thing, actually, this can't be a one, two, three set. And that's what would happen if this was a three. The reason this can't be a one, two, three set is the non one white cell would be red. If that was a two and red, it would be next to a three or a one. If that was a three and red, it wouldn't be allowed to be next to a one, it would be next to a two and you would need a white dot. Ergo, this is a one. These add up to eight, not six. Now, I know there's a two in them because there's this sort of X-wing on twos here. So it is a one, two, five group. This one is two or five. And this probably tells me, if I figure it out, which one of these is red. A red two there would be next to a five, which is fine. A red five there would be next to a two, which is fine. So maybe it doesn't. Um, but anyway, one, two, five, nine, four, this is not eight, so we can place eight in the box. That is now not eight. So this arrow is either one, two, three, or one, two, four. This digit is two or three by that logic. It can't be a three on a black dot with that, so it's two. That sorts out our one, two things. All of this triple, and we must know the colors. Yeah, we do. Um, this is Sudoku now. That is a four on the black dot. This is a seven. Now, we know the colors because we don't need any more red ones. We've suddenly got a red two and four. And that can't be four. We've got a red three five pair and that is the red six. Sorry if you saw that was the only place for red six a while ago. I didn't. And here we go. So, six, two, five, one, eight. Eight, two, five, four, one. Come on, come on, this must be giving us something now. That is a 6-5 pair. Ah, and the red cell. I've got to use these red cells a bit more. Can't have a 5 next to the 4. That is a 3-8 pair, which probably can't be disambiguated because they don't touch a red cell. And that's fine. This is now 3 or 5, so this is even and is 2. And this is 3 and this is 4. And this is five, and this is two, which I could have done by the arrow. Very simply, this is seven, making this a five, two pair. We've got, okay, I've <laughs> just noticed we've managed to do those together. Right, three, six here. The five is obeying the rule, of course. Um, and we've just got the rule. No, we've probably just got Sudoku to do. Um, that has become a five. That's going to make this a 9 and that a 1. That's a 2. In fact, the rule would have done that for me. This is 7, this is 6, this is 8. That 8 has probably been shout-worthy for a while. That's a 9. 4, 7, 6 along here. 3 and 8 at the bottom of the box. This is a 9. 3, 4, 7. This one uh, is the 4. Three and seven in those cells. Not touching one of the special cells. Uh, Sudoku does them. Right, this one is three or seven. Not touching one of the special cells. Maybe I'm relying too much on the special cells. That is a naked five. It sees all the other Sudoku digits in its row and column. In this case, 
five, nine, that's not six. We've got four or seven at the top, not governed by the rule. Six and eight here, we can fill those in. That's not a six, so this is six. Up this column, we've got a three, seven pair, but we know that seven has to be at the top. Yes, we do. I didn't remember that. Good thing for the, the pencil marking did. Two in the corner. Seven, four, and we're finishing off now. Three there, seven, three. What an interesting puzzle. That really does make you think in different ways. The solution is correct and the time 31 minutes 15 which doesn't feature any consecutive digits in its string perfect um, and there we go that is Finn Scherer's negative crop key error well done Finn interesting puzzle um, just checking that we've got the red cells apparently oh we were told it was correct that's all good excellent I will don't forget to tune in to Simon's Star Battle video tomorrow if you like that sort of thing. About 10.30 our time, I think. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching and bye for now.